Adavers Toronto. I have been wanting to speak in your beautiful town for decades, especially while I lived in Buffalo for 10 years. My idea of heaven on earth in those days was to visit the world's biggest bookstore on Edward Street, just north of Eaton Center. Its three stories covered an incredible 64,000 square feet of space and carried over 20 kilometers of bookshelves. I visited this mind-blowing Disney world of books for the first time in December 1980 when it had just opened and then practically once or twice a month for the next decade. Because of this amazing bookstore and the Chart and Nehari on Gerard Street, Toronto was the second city I fell in love with, after Karachi, of course. I was heartbroken when this magical bookstore shuts its door for the final time in 2014. So thanks a lot for finally inviting me. I feel like I have so much to say to you in Toronto. Labo dehen bhi mila, guftugu ka fun bhi mila. Magar jo dil pe guzarti hai, keh saku ke nahi. As I was thinking about what to say to you today, I remembered a very sweet incident. In 2002, I was visiting Delhi and my friend Dr. Sohra Mehdi in Okhla, where Jamia University is located. The great Urdu writer Kuratulan Heather had also come. Annie Appa is that charismatic, stylish author who dropped like a bombshell into the world of Urdu by publishing her first exceptionally moving, tender, deeply evocative, insightful novel, Mere Bhi Sanam Khane, at the ripe old age of 19 years, forcing her cousin Shabbo to write a parody about it. Qurratul Ain hai adab mein dakhil, jaise mulke arab mein Israel. After lunch, we sat around in lazy lounge chairs in Sohra's vast sehen. It was a gorgeous December afternoon, pleasantly but not dazzlingly bright, enjoying what Josh Sahab used to call the gulabi dhoop of winters. As was our routine, when the three of us were together, jokes were flying, we were reciting shares non-stop and gossiping 19 to the dozen, when suddenly, the front door bell rang. Sora's teenage niece, Zehra, ran to the door, answered it, and shouted right from there. Sora Appa, she, she said with a totally straight face, Sora Appa, Fakir aya hai. Aaj isko kya dena hai, lunch ya lecture? I asked myself the same question today. I decided I was already bored with the idea of a lecture, so instead, why not start by reciting some of my favorite fun poetry of Urdu for you? I bet it will lighten your mood and perhaps make you a little more generous. Since we were speaking of the world's biggest bookstore, and Sohra Mehdi's PhD thesis was on Akbar al-Ahbadi. Let me start by combining these two and recite Akbar's comment on which books need to be censored. Hamesi sab kitabe kabile zabti samajte hain ke jinko padke bache baap ko khapti samajte hain. And a side swipe by Akbar on our white collar crime. Qom ke gham mein dinner khate hain hakam ke saath. Gham to leader ko bohat hai, magar aram ke saath. And Akbar, summarizing the British agenda in the subcontinent, proved to be 
so prescient. This is essentially what has happened to us just as he had warned. Chor literature ko apni history ko bhool ja. Sheikh o masjid se taluk tark kar school ja. Char din ki zindagi hai koft se kya fayda. Kha double roti killer ki kar khushi se bhool ja. That's what we have become. Lack of liberal education. By the way, are there any Karachiites here? Oh, wonderful. You are going to particularly enjoy this by a more recent poet. Maraz hai, bad dua hai, jane kya hai? Mujhe ek arza sa ho gaya hai. Maraz hai, bad dua hai, jane kya hai? Mujhe ek arza sa ho gaya hai. Bujha rehta hu mein din raat aksar mujhe kuch vapda sa ho gaya hai. Urdu shairi is deeply seductive, so much so that poets become total heroes. Younger writers want to outshine each other. They've been known to resort to some unfair means as well. Shair mein aur sheer mein ek behaz chid gai. Wo behaz jis ka lutf uthaye huye hai hum. Shair to keh raha tha ke humne likha hai sheer. اور شیر کہہ رہا تھا چرائے ہوئے ہیں ہم alright this will be my last this young man goes to a mushaira and he wants to impress everybody as if he is a great original poet so he began very confidently شما جلی تو پروانے کا ہوا خون شما جلی تو پروانے کا ہوا خون now he couldn't find the paper where he had plagiarized this ghazal. But he recovered quickly. Shama jali to parwane ka hua khun inna ilahe wa inna ilahe rajam. Well, today we are supposed to talk about generosity. Jaja Gabor, the much married great Hollywood actress, famously remarked once that the only thing she looks for in a partner is he should be generous. Because if he is generous in money, he will be generous in everything in life. Now, she said, is that too much to ask of a billionaire? But seriously, a good definition is that generosity is voluntary unselfish giving of money, time, attention, and other resources without any expectation of a return. There's a famous story that the great inventor Thomas Edison one day came home from school and gave a paper to his mother. My teacher asked me to give it to you. After reading the paper, his mother's eyes filled with tears. Thomas asked his mother about what was written in the paper. She read the whole letter out loud to him. It said, your son is a genius. This school is too small for him and we don't have enough resources and good teachers to train him. Please teach him yourself. After many years, Edison's mother died and he had become one of the greatest inventors. One day, while Thomas was looking into old family things, he came across a folded piece of paper in the corner of his desk drawer. He took it out and opened it. It was the same paper which was given to him by his teacher in grade school to give to his mom. He read the paper for himself now. It said, your son is mentally ill and we won't let him come to school anymore. After reading that, Edison cried for hours and wrote in his diary, Thomas Alva Edison was a mentally ill child who, thanks to the generosity of a heroic mother, became the genius of the century. This is one kind of generosity. Many of you know that in my real life, 
I'm an oncologist and have worked at several major academic centers in the country. Part of my duty has been to serve on admission committees for students wanting to enter medical school. I've read countless essays by some of the smartest young people in this country. But we look for something more in people who wish to be admitted to our profession. Something that shows a generosity of spirit. Their humanity. Here's an example of someone I admitted. This is a young woman who said a lot in just one single sentence. She said, when I think of the population of the world filled with nearly 8 billion strangers, I get very scared. But then I think of it as 8 billion opportunities to make new friends and I get excited. This, this is the kind of generosity where you open your heart to the whole world. Another example I'd like to give you is a little more personal. A couple of months after my own husband died of cancer, suffering for five years, our eight-year-old daughter Shahrazad developed the flu. Any respiratory illness aggravated her chronic asthma and for the next 48 hours she struggled to breathe through the nebulizers and inhalers, running high fevers and staying up nights with a hacking cough. It took a week for her to experience any relief. One early morning I was working in the family room when she came out of her room crying inconsolably. As a mother, I thought that she has had a relapse, she's much worse. She was unable to answer for a few minutes as I began to panic. Her little body shook with sobs. Finally, she was calm enough to explain. This is what she said. Actually, mom, I feel fine. But now I know how horrible it is to feel sick and how good it is to feel better and my dad never felt better. This is a kind of generosity where you feel the pain of others like this little child felt the pain of her own father. And nothing brings this generosity to the surface like love. Ishq. Ishq is the generosity of attitudes and actions. We are always asking God to give us the gifts of wisdom, knowledge, power, money. But the greatest gift we can ask for is generosity. Why? Because generosity means not asking for more gifts, but using the ones you already have. It means action. The greatest generosity is love in action. Think of it. Ek love se mohabbat ka adna sa fasana hai. Ek love se mohabbat ka adna sa fasana hai. Simte to dile aashik it is so all-consuming that it can replace everything and becomes a religion, turning the lover into a kafir, like Wasif in love with Habib University. Sakht kafir tha jisne pehle meer mazhave ishq ikhtiyar kiya. And the problem is that this religion asks for nothing less than your blood. Khalilur Rahman Azmi Sahib says, Hoti nahi hai yun hi ada ye namaz ish. Kya shir hai? Sunye. Hoti nahi hai yun hi ada ye namaz ish. Ya shart hai ke apne lahu se wuzu karo. And of course, jigger. Ye ishq nahi asa, bas itna samaj lije. 
एक आग का दरिया है और डूब के जाना है इन अदर वर्ड्स टू बी एबल टू एक्सपीरियंस इश्क द लवर मस्ट पोजेस अ सर्टन वाइटैलरी to have the strength to bear the coming pain and suffering or deals and tribulations the lover must be courageous nida fazli says dil mein na ho jurat to mohabbat nahi milti khairat mein itni badi daulat nahi milti love requires daring the nerve to dive deep to swim against the current because all traditions are turned suddenly on their heads amir khusro says khusro darya prem ka so ulti wa ki dhar khusro darya prem ka so ulti wa ki dhar jo utra so doob gaya jo dooba so par you really have to dive deep dive real deep to get to the other side the true aashiq even gives his life for ishq but even the death that comes to the aashiq is uniquely blessed revered it's a sacred death i love this sheer by the way maze jo maut ke aashiq kabhu bayan karte what a gorgeous <laughs> urdu is too beautiful a language maze jo maut ke aashiq kabhu bayan karte मसीहो खिजर भी मरने की इल्तिजा करते क्या बात है आई हैव टेकन यू ऑन अ लॉन्ग जर्नी टुडे स्टार्टिंग विद माय लव फॉर बुक्स द वर्ल्ड्स ग्रेटेस्ट बुक स्टोर टू माय लव फॉर उर्दू इट्स राइटर्स लाइक सुखरा मेहदी एंड एनी आपा to my love for medicine and science recounting stories of medical students and of shehrzad to this final chapter declaring declaring that ishq is the ultimate act of generosity be it ishq e haqiqi or ishq e majazi because ishq has the power of converting any virtue into action i submit to you that since the highest virtue is ishq then the highest form of ishq in action is generosity i urge you to aspire to this level of generosity and let me now end by giving a concrete example of this ultimate kind of generosity this ishq in action its name is habib university the house of habib had a dream to leave a grand legacy they wanted to create something tangible something spectacular something that would have the power to change the fate of millions but change does not come from having a project it comes from having a purpose the habibs came up with a fantastically noble purpose they settled on investing their largesse into building the best possible institution for education but then once again buildings don't bring success it's the people that do from the honorable rafiq habib to the late ali habib from manize and imran habib to marzia habib hasan and muslim hasan and to the extended house of habib the entire family has thrown itself heart and soul into the project bravo and a huge thanks to the house of habib <laughs> and of course the next best thing the habibs did is to attract the inimitable harvard mit trained superman wasif rizvi to join them in their grand quest Wasif is the extraordinary charming gardener who makes our souls bloom the patch of sky above our lives watching over and caring for us he restores our faith in love and reason and goodness he is our vitamin essential for our existence it is now our duty to support the house of habib and to nurture wasif back by showing our generosity and bring to completion the magnificent project which he is spearheading besides 
the pursuit of knowledge is a constant refrain of our religious and cultural norms. Let us not shy away from our own traditions. Let me end by reciting something that you will instantly recognize, but is worth reminding ourselves about over and over. So this recitation I'm about to do is dedicated to the great city of Toronto and the people of Toronto who have gathered in this room tonight. Kisi ne ye ek marde dana se poocha ke neemat hai dunya mein sabse badi kya? Kaha aql jisse mile deen o dunya Kaha gar na ho isse insa ko behra Kaha phir ahem sabse ilm o hunar hai ke jo baay se iftikhar e bashar hai And who brought an end to jihalat that we know of? وہ نبیوں میں رحمت لقب پانے والا مرادیں غریبوں کی بر لانے والا مصیبت میں غیروں کے کام آنے والا وہ اپنے پرائے کا غم کھانے والا فقیروں کا ملجا ضعیفوں کا ماوہ یتیموں کا والی غلاموں کا مولا خطاکار سے در گزر کرنے والا بدندیش کے دل میں گھر کرنے والا مفاسد کا زیر و زبر کرنے والا قبائل کو شیر و شکر کرنے والا اتر کر ہرا سے سوئے قوم آیا اور ایک نسخہ کیمیا ساتھ لایا مسے خام کو جس نے کندن بنایا کھرا اور کھوٹا الگ کر دکھایا عرب جس پہ قرنوں سے تھا جہل چھایا پلٹ دی بسے کان میں اس کی کایا رہا ڈر نہ بیڑے کو موجے بلا کا ادھر سے ادھر پھر گیا رخ ہوا کا پتہ اصل مقصود کا پا گیا جب نشان گنج دولت کا ہاتھ آ گیا جب محبت سے دل ان کا گرم آ گیا جب سما ان پہ توحید کا چھا گیا جب سکھائے معیشت کے آداب ان کو پڑھائے تمدن کے سب باب ان کو جتائی انہیں وقت کی قدر و قیمت دلائی انہیں کام کی حرص و رغبت کہا چھوڑ دیں گے سب آخر رفاقت ہو فرزند و زن اس میں یا مال ہو یا دولت نہ چھوڑے گا پر ساتھ ہرگز تمہارا کیا آپ کا ساتھ نہیں چھوڑتا نہ چھوڑے گا پر ساتھ ہرگز تمہارا بھلائی میں وہ جو وقت تم نے گزارا یہ کہہ کر کیا علم پر ان کو شیدہ کہ ہیں رحمت سے سب اہل دنیا مگر دھیان ہے جن کو ہر دم خدا کا ہے تعلیم کا یا صدا جن میں چرچا انہی کے لیے یا ہے نعمت خدا کی انہی پر ہے جام وہاں جا کے رحمت خدا کی خدا رحم کرتا نہیں اس بشر پر نہ ہو درد کی چوٹ جس کے جگر پر خدا رحم کرتا نہیں اس بشر پر نہ ہو درد کی چوٹ جس کے جگر پر کسی کے گرافت گزر جائے سر پر پڑے غم کا سایہ نہ اس بے اثر پر کرو مہربانی تم اہل زمین پر خدا مہربان ہوگا عرش بری پر یہ پہلا سبق تھا کتاب ہدا کا کہ ہے ساری مخلوق کنبہ خدا کا وہی دوست ہے خالق دوسرا کا خلائق سے ہے جس کو رشتہ ولا کا یہی ہے عبادت یہی دین و ایمان کہ کام آئے دنیا میں انسان کے انسان حبیب یونیورسٹی زندہ بار ٹورانٹو زندہ بار پاکستان زندہ بار آدھا